back. Another edition of Nick and Narf, two brothers in Tucson, bringing you music from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond both ways. And today, we're talking Icon, one of the greatest songwriters in American history. From Started out on the Motown record label, I guess. And right. this guy wrote more songs than I've probably flossed my teeth in my lifetime. Yeah. I mean, this guy is... Rid- we're talking about the great Smokey Robinson and the great group, The Miracles. That's right. We are going to do one of our patented and very few uh, comparison songs. We're going to do an original versus an, an, an unusual and unique cover version by a different artist. So this was suggested, too, by our brother Londo. Londo, we love you. Hope you're doing well. Love to Cheryl and RJ. We miss you. And uh, this one, this is the idea is we got the song... Two versions of Tears of a Clown, one of the greatest songs of all time. A little background on Smokey. He joined, formed the Miracles in 1955. Wow. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 1987. He won the Gershwin Prize, many Grammys, awards. He's gotten the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so many awards you can't talk about. This song, though, Tears of a Clown, came out in 1970. It was number one, a huge hit. It's ranked number 313 on Rolling Stone's all-time greatest song. Should be better. Should be lower than that. Yeah, and Smokey himself is number 23 on Rolling Stone's list of the top 200 singers of all time. What a so tone. he's a remarkable artist. Not enough accolades, not enough praise for this Don't man. Don't forget, this is the guy who wrote My Guy and My Girl. Oh, the- he did. <laughs> he made other people famous, too, with his songwriting as well, as well as making his own legacy and career. A genius, a brilliant an artist, a shining star in the light of American and music. And I was so blessed. Grad night, 1972 at Disneyland, he performed there in front of us. It was supposed to be originally oh, wow. Stevie Wonder, and cool. Stevie got sick or something, and Smokey Robinson was there, and we were just elated that Smokey was there, because he is fantastic. Yeah, we've got this great version of the original, and then we got a very cool remake by a band from England called The English Beat, who did a ska version of this song in, the, in 1979. It's really cool. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And if you but, guys, uh, before he says subscribe, like, and share, Frank showed me a video one time of Smokey Robinson with Daryl Hall. Hall at Daryl's house. They were ridiculously good together. Unbelievable. You get a chance to see it. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. Look for Live from Daryl's House with Smokey Robinson. Wonderful and show. Smokey had to be in his late 60s at the oh, time. Yeah, probably. Maybe even older. Maybe in his early 70s. Unbelievable like that. how good they sounded together, too. Miraculous. Oh, but man. anyway, like Nick said, please, if you like what you're going to hear, please, if you haven't, subscribe, like, and share. Be a part of the tribe because we're caring for your ears. And for all of our subscribers, thank you. Love you. We're in our new fourth year of doing videos. So here we go. Let's start with the original. So here's Smokey Robinson and the Miracles doing the miraculous song, Tears of a Clown. Oh, 
what a great song. All right. Before <laughs> I forget, you know, the part. Dun, 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 dun. Doesn't that sound like a song from the association? What? That part where he goes. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like a couple of songs. That, I, I that cannot people believe use that this was 1970. I was thought it was earlier. Yeah, than that. it seems earlier, but it's 1970. That's what I checked. What out a great song! It is such a simple song with two basic components. It's just that. Dun, dun, dun. And then it busts into the regular song, but he layers it with so much stuff with vocals and horns and strings. It just it just turns into this mini symphonic song. Yep. But it's got that Motown groove, that unmistakable smoky and he stamp dr- on it. Draws everything. out that chorus. Started to go. And the lyrics are really nice too. I know he was very influenced by, I think, by the opera Pagliacci, because he even mentions Pagliacci in the in the lyrics here. Tears of the clown, you know, the, the clown who's crying on the inside but smiling on the outside. So it was a big influence on him. And in fact, he's he, that that influence carried over to another couple of songs he wrote where he mentions about Pagliacci, he's mentioned some of the lyrics again. Really? But it's really, God, this song is just so memorable among many, many great Love Smokey you, songs. Smokey. You are so bad. You're a treasure, man. You're a treasure. You're an, it's an honor to have you in our world and sharing your genius with all of us. And thank yes. you for everything. Yes. Leave us your comments. Did you guys ever see Smokey? I saw him. Uh, Nick, besides Nick, I haven't seen him. But uh, let us know your Smokey experience, where you saw him, uh, you know, what this song means to you, or uh, anything else about Smokey you want to share with us. Now, I'm going to get into this cover version from 1979 by this band called The English Beat. They were known as The English Beat in the U.S. They actually were called simply The Beat, and they formed in 1978 in England. Uh, This song was their debut single, and it rose to number six in the U.K. Uh, It didn't do as well in the U.S. because they were just getting known. But it's a very catchy version of it, kind of influenced by ska and a little bit of reggae. See what you guys think if you haven't heard before. This is Tears of a Clown by the English Beat.
What'd you think of that version, Nikki? I enjoyed it. I, I could see Londo, our brother, just hopping and bopping to this oh, one. Oh, he used to dance to this one all the time. He loved the English beat. They had a number of other big hits, uh, you know, like Mirror in the Bathroom and My Best Friend and a few other big songs. But he loved this one. And it's a catchy, it's very true to the original in a lot of ways. Yeah, you yeah know? it is. But that, it, you know, Ska was still big throughout all, it was just the starting of Ska. In 1979 and 80, you know, the police were playing ska, the specials, uh, the selector. There were a bunch of bands in England. Ska was huge for almost the whole 80s. And this was the front end of it. And that's why this song did so well. But uh, I think it does a pretty nice job of uh, paying tribute to the original, keeping it, but making it more of an upbeat kind of new age dance music song. What do you think? What did you guys think of the English Beats version of Tears of a Clown? I I like the sax part, you know, replacing the piccolo or whatever. Yeah, I wish it had gone on a little more, don't you? I kind of like to see it really take off a little bit more, but it added a lot. I like the sax a lot. But it didn't have that circus kind of feel that, you know, Smokey intended originally. No, no. Well, Smokey had a full orchestra behind. You had flutes and violins and and strings and and horns. And I mean, he did a production. This is a bare bone, like, you know, four or five piece ska band. you know, maybe six pieces, but and all they had was horns and you know, little keyboard horns. Hitters. Played with the horns. <laughs> but uh, anyway, what did you guys think of our tribute to Smokey Robinson and to the English Beat and their versions of the great song "Tears of a Clown"? Please leave us your comments, and if you like what you heard, please subscribe, like, and share. We got more great content for you to check out. We're caring for your ears all the time, and we hope you'll. Join us along with our other subscribers who we thank so much for all your love and support. And we're going to let you go and hope you'll see us again next time on another episode of This Guy and This Guy. Narf. That's right. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Ciao, Bambini. Peace out.